In this video, we are going to be introduced to compound interest. So in a previous video, it was a person called John. We looked at simple interest and the way that it works. But now we're going to look at compound interest. And it's a lot more interesting. And it's more in line with how it works in real life. So let's compare. So let's do compound over here. And then we'll do simple over here. So Jessica has 10,000 Rand. And she's going to earn interest of 10% PA or per annum, which means per year. So for the first year, she'll earn 10% of however much she has. And she has 10,000 Rand. So that's 1,000 Rand. And so how much will she have in total after one year? Well, she would have 11,000 Rand. For the simple interest, it's going to be exactly the same for the first year. Here's where things change. Going into year two, compound interest says, wait, let's see how much does Jessica actually have? Does she have 10,000? No, now she has 11,000. So we need to give her 10% of 11,000, which is 1,100 Rand. We're rewarding her by giving her even more because she has more money. And that means that after year two, she would now have 12,100 Rand. However, with simple interest, they don't do that. They keep using the 10,000 Rand, and so they keep giving Jessica 1,000 Rand. And so that means that she'll have 11,000 plus another 1,000 Rand, and so she's only going to have 12,000 Rand. Can you see the difference? Going into year three, compound interest says, but Jessica now has 12,100, so we need to give her 10% of 12,100, which is 1,210 Rand, which means that she now has 13,310 Rand. Simple interest is still just going to give her the same old 1,000 Rand. And so Jessica would end up with 13,000 Rand at the end if it was simple interest. So compound interest uses the new amount. Simple interest always uses the original or the, the, the first amount. But now as with compound, I mean simple interest, compound interest also has a cool formula that allows you to do everything in one step. And it looks like this. It looks very similar to simple interest, which is this one over here. So this is simple interest, and this is compound interest. All that happens is the N goes on the outside as an exponent. Let's see if it works. So for Jessica's case, we know that A is the final amount, so we don't know what that is, but we know that the starting amount is 10,000. The interest rate is 10%, which is the same as 0 0.1, and she's investing for three years. Go ahead, type this in on the calculator, and what you'll find is you'll get an answer of 13,310 Rand. And so you can do it using a simple formula instead of having to do it year by year by year. So this is the new compound formula that we'll use, and if it's a simple interest question, you can use that formula over there.